Uh, welcome back everyone to GGN. This is going to be the last video for tonight for this weekend. It's uh, basically a harp status update. Uh, you, you've probably seen the crappy weather out there. I mentioned about it on uh, Wednesday and it's here for sure. You know, in the 40s with uh, drizzle rain uh, almost for the last, you know, it was a little bit on and off, off but it, you know, almost 20 hours straight. So that's what we get. Um, have this article there's so much disturbing weather all over the world right now is that it got so hot in Denver this week that they hit a record 68 degrees um, actually and they had snow in Vietnam and in Cairo uh, uh, more than usual or higher than usual uh, ice and snow and uh, cold in Israel they say enjoy Christmas because it could be your last I don't know about all that but uh, Here's a list of the recent freaky weather events that you could uh, use against your relatives who don't believe in climate change. Uh, snow in Vietnam for the first time in many years. Uh, it says here that uh, the dry season, not so dry. It's already received three times the amount of rain expected for the entire month of uh, December. It said that uh, they had rain, 142 Mill, uh, millimeters of rain in a 24-hour period despite being the dry season in Denver they hit a record high and of course yeah the reporters were talking about it like it was a good thing you'll hear people say that too it was like when we had this recent cold spout it's like I was out working out working on my car most of the time in a frigid you know sub-zero temperatures I mean that's why I wasn't putting out as many videos it was just consuming a lot of my energy and time and you know, like I'd see people say, oh man, this sucks, this sucks. And it's just like, dude, quit bitching about it. You know what I mean? It's like, it's winter. It's in, you know, the Midwest. You know, just, I like the changing seasons. I think it's some kind of, it has like a, a purifying, it's a purifying process for the earth, but also for people. You know, the end of the year, kind of like I said before, symbolizes uh, the end of a life, kind of like a 24-hour period, the end of a day, the end of a life, and so, you know, the end of the year, and uh, so, you know, you just kind of embrace it, yeah, it sucks sometimes, but it's like, uh, you just got to get used to it, you know, me personally, I like to keep the heat down a little bit, you know, there's incentive financially, but also, you want to try to um, not lose that uh, immune, not immunity, but tolerance to the cold, because if there is a a significant cooling period coming mini ice age ice age uh, you might want to be prepared for that instead of just you know whining about oh it's so cold I wish it was a summer and it's like I don't because I mean yeah we're getting seriously sprayed we're getting seriously pulsed it's hot you know then in the Middle East going back to this article in Cairo it snowed for the first time in a century uh, Buenos Aires has a blackout in Argentina. Uh, it says a heat wave is uh, 20 degrees above monthly average has literally turned the lights off. I also had that in Venezuela too, but I'm not sure if it was due to the heat. And I'll just mention this article because I covered it on Wednesday uh, for people that missed it. Uh, as far as this weekend goes and the weather, there's supposed to be uh, possibly tornadoes, a significant severe weather outbreak with tornadoes this weekend for the Gulf states or what they call Dixie Alley. There's the map right there. You can see southern Illinois, Indiana, uh, Arkansas, parts of Texas, Louisiana, the Panhandle, and the Gulf. Uh, to the harp status, this is from the 20th, so it's updated today. Uh, some major, this is the highest the scale goes, is in the Gulf states. So there you go. And uh, it basically goes around like up to Illinois and stuff, but the the, the only place without any type of harp frequencies is uh, looks like Washington. And this is according to the little towers here. How they measure it: the building frequency area, a uh, fast uh, to a uh, weakening frequency. Uh, moving on, uh, I actually have an update for the UK. We haven't had that in a while, but uh, it's moderate to high in uh, Northern Europe. Uh, the UK between uh, medium and moderate and most of the rest of Europe and uh, Eastern Europe you had low uh, yeah pretty much low into Eastern Europe and into the Russia and that and your chemtrail report um, most of you will probably be seeing this tomorrow uh, for Saturday which would be day two so 
but as far as right now we had a big uh, most of the country covered with this moving in an eastward direction you also had they're probably out there spraying in the Pacific Ocean and that uh, was creeping ashore so you have those two fronts working uh, into the night uh, almost combining uh, so almost the entire country right there except for the southwest uh, by Saturday and uh, whatever's left is going to be this whole region right here like we were talking about uh, and then eventually just again northwest they must do a lot of spraying out there off, off the uh, coast the west coast but uh, I mean I know normal that's the way clouds come the weather comes from the west but um, I mean the one time I was out there uh, I saw them spraying so they were spraying heavy in uh, Oregon so and this is going on globally so as far as the freaky weather going on and all that rain and uh, in China I mean I know they spray there as well but I think it's a combination of both so you know, usually when when they're always spraying that's the thing they're always spraying but when they when they spray it doesn't always mean that it's gonna rain I actually am starting to think over the last year that the rain is actually the side effect it's not actually the purpose of the spraying. There's many reasons for it. Um, like I said before, it, modifying the weather in it, in it of itself is one thing, but there's many reasons, uh, jamming communications and all that uh, for defense purposes, for uh, uh, mind control type purposes. Uh, it, it includes something that I was discussing with a friend recently, which is uh, blocking the sun out um, it's almost as if when they spray especially like when it's in the summer it's supposed to be sunny and nice and you're supposed to you know, be getting in that vitamin d and direct sunlight it's like you feel like you you get really pissed off i do at least i mean yeah, i think you should i mean you should get a little worked up that uh, they're blocking the sunlight because that's your sunlight that's all of our sunlight and uh, and we should be able to have direct contact with it but what they're but they're keeping us apart from each other just like in, in a lot of ways they keep us from having a relationship with nature so and I think it goes a step beyond where they're constantly uh, you know with this barium they're not just they're not just using it for defense applications uh, there's a good chance that the Sun emits information uh, whether it's to update our DNA uh, or whatever what's going on in the other parts of the universe I guess some people think that the Sun itself is actually a, a, a way of a traveling uh, through the universe like you know time travel like wormholes but um, if they're blocking that information from getting to us then you know we're not able to spiritually or physically evolve so there's some pretty nefarious stuff going on if that's what they're doing I mean creating plasma so they can keep other people out or so that's that's what it comes that's what I wonder it's like okay if they're all doing this spraying they're all doing this program of weather modification and all all the reasons for it they're not doing it against each other because we pretty much have a global government um, where they for the most part agree they just there's still little factions and mafias that are trying to say well we still want our cut so that's that's the only thing but they all basically agree about uh, yeah, repressing any type of real revolution or and, and oppressing their people so they're uniting on one thing and that is to block out some ex other force which is either off planet which could be actually entities or people from another type of star system or it could be the Sun itself so yeah this is going back to this finish up this was Saturday what it looks like this is Sunday um, which is probably when we're going to see the worst, the worst, um, and then going in on uh, Monday, kind of clearing out. So I went a little bit longer than I thought it was going to go, but I was uh, kind of glad that I was able to get that out there. Uh, anyways, guys, uh, thank you for joining me. I I really do appreciate you guys checking out these videos, just knowing that it's getting out there, and I know you guys are like sharing it and stuff. But um, anyways, thank you for joining me, and uh, hopefully, I'll, uh, hopefully. Uh, I get some video uh, videos out on Monday. Thank you.